Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has ordered a measure banning Palestinians from riding buses with Israeli settlers be suspended. Defense Minister Moshe Yalan had claimed allowing Israelis and Palestinians to travel together posed a security risk. Israeli lawmakers across the political spectrum cautioned over Israel's international image that has been taking a hit for its discriminatory policies toward Palestinians. Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu announced a Turkish military ship has been sent to aid Rohingya Muslims stuck in boats at sea off the coast of Thailand. More than 1,500 Rohingya Muslims from Myanmar and Bangladesh are stranded in Indonesia's Aceh province. Indonesia has rescued hundreds of Rohingya and Bangladeshis earlier today in the Strait of Malacca. The rescue came hours before the governments of Malaysia and Indonesia issued a joint statement saying they will begin to provide humanitarian assistance to the 7,000 migrants stranded at sea. Burundi's President Pierre Nkurunziza has delayed parliamentary elections by a week after nearly a month of anti-governmental demonstrations and a failed military coup. Opposition parties and the international community had requested Nkurunziza postpone the vote. Burundi has been hit by protests in opposition to Nkurunziza's candidacy for a third term. The country's constitution stipulates that a president can only serve two terms. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton said she made a mistake voting in favor of the Iraq war when she was serving as a senator in 2002. I've made it very clear that uh, I made a mistake, plain and simple. Engaged, I would not have gone into Iraq. Her recent comments came after a week of controversy about the issue which started with the 2016 Republican presidential hopeful Jeb Bush saying he would authorize the war as his brother. Former President George W. Bush had done at the first time. Thanks for watching. FNAMBAYRAKTAR, TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.